Hey guys, welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about how to use the else if statement. So this is where I left off in code the last time I was on the computer. I'm just going to make a new file and just call it, uh, I guess I'll follow my convention of capitals, else if. And, oh shoot, I need to name it .c. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a menu. And uh, essentially a menu is going to be something that a user is going to come across when they use your application and it's going to give them a select number of options. And this is usually done with an else if statement, or well, a tied to an if, so an if else if statement, or something known as a switch statement, which we haven't talked about, but that is coming up in the upcoming videos. Generally, I like to use switch statements for menus but it's really super easy to convert an if statement to a switch statement, so not a problem at all. Definitely recommend you watch this video and understand how to create a menu. So just to kind of give a context of a potential app, let's say we're making an app for a, a doctor's office. And you know, we're gonna do the standard boring uh, outline. There we go. And we're gonna have basically four menu options and we're gonna take numbers. So the first one is going to be, oh, I don't know, let's go with add a patient. Two will be to um, uh, view a patient. And, and we're not gonna code the actual stuff to do this stuff in this video at least. <laughs> we're just going to make the menu. Uh, so sorry if your, your uh, job is to make doctor's office applications and you're hoping to get all your answers here. <laughs> Search patients. And lastly, we're going to have exit. And after this, you will be a menu pro. First thing always is to give user the give the user something to do so they know what they're expected to do. And I'm gonna do a new line because I want each one of these numbers on a new line. And uh, I'm gonna put them in different printf statements as well just for uh, clarity on my sake. And so it's easier for me to not go insane. And basically, I'm just gonna copy this stuff up here. So the first option, add a patient. The next thing we're gonna do is the if statement. And we're going to, actually, no, we're gonna get the user input, obviously. So we need to say user input. And we're gonna scan f. And we've done this a thousand times, so if you haven't seen this yet, you might wanna go watch all the other videos I've done. <laughs> And like I said, we gotta use the address of because we're going to be giving it a pointer and then we can condition on that. But let's just compile just to make sure everything is good so far. Okay, we have an error because there's nothing in here. So that's good. If we put true, it should compile. Oh, no, because we have to use the header. So let me just try one. There we go. <laughs> okay, so then what we need to do is we need to Basically, input equals equals one. We use the else if to do multiple possible ways of branching. So if input equals two, if input equals three, then we're gonna do this. And lastly, else exit. Okay, so let's just, um, I'd say we should print some stuff out just so we can see this in action. In this situation, we're adding a patient, viewing a patient, searching patients, and then lastly, we're exiting. And I'm gonna talk about this else statement in just a minute because it's kind of funky. So let's just uh, run this and make sure everything is good to go. All right, so which do you wanna do? Let's go with one, adding a patient. Two, viewing a patient. Three, searching patients. And then four, exiting. And it works. So we, we efficiently, effectively, and awesomely made a menu. Now, I wanna talk about this else statement because in this scenario, if you type in anything other than than one, two, or three, it's going to exit. So if I put G, it exits. If you don't want this behavior, you need to use an else if and do the same exact thing, input equals four. 
and then say else. And in this scenario, they didn't put the right input. So you could say that. The way you do it is totally up to you. In this situation now, we have to put four in order to exit, which in my opinion would make more sense than just any number or any letter other than one, two, and three exits. That seems a little silly, but eventually once you get into loops, you can basically put this menu in a loop. And if they don't put any of these values, then you could loop it and ask them again. So this else statement would basically be converted to a loop and say, hey, you put in the wrong data, try again, and it would output the same menu and then they could choose one of the options again. So hopefully that was a little bit helpful on else if statements and how to use them in code. And hopefully it's clear that when you hit this if statement, only one of these is ever going to be executed. They're not going to be able to do multiple. In that situation, you would need to have multiple if statements or put some code down here. Switch statements, there's a, they're a little bit interesting and once we get to them, there's something called the break, which, yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about that now. But hopefully you guys got a good understanding and if you've enjoyed this, I would encourage you to check out the description because I uh, am releasing a C programming crash course, which might be of interest to you guys. So check that out. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.